Hello and welcome to this new episode of Learn English with Rami. Today I'm going to talk about a very important topic many people are concerned with, which is talking English fluently. Our episode today will be in three parts. Number one, what is fluency? And two main parts of fluency you must master. Number two, some myth people have about speaking English fluently. And number three, some secrets and advice you must know to speak English fluently. See you after the intro. Welcome back. I'm Rami, teacher of English, and you're watching Learn English with Rami. As I told you, the first part of today's episode will be about what is fluency. And simply, fluency is the ability to speak normally without unnecessary pauses. This means you have some normal pauses when you speak. For example, when I ask you, what did you do last Friday after work? And you say, last Friday after work, I think I met an old friend. This means we have normal pauses when you speak to remember something, for example. And having a lot of pauses when you speak means you are not fluent in the language. What about the two main parts of fluency? Number one, the physical part, which is about moving your mouth and speech organs to pronounce words correctly. And this is where we have a complete course in phonetics to help you pronounce words correctly. And the second part is the middle part, which is the ability to recall words, phrases, and sentences to express your ideas about something. And this, of course, will need a lot of practice. And myth number one, you have to be talented to speak English fluently, and this is not correct, because even if you are untalented, you can learn English and speak English fluently, and the main key here is practice. And myth number two, you have to live in an English-speaking country to master the language. This is completely wrong, because as I told you, the main key here is practice. If you practice the language, submerge yourself in it, you'll be able to master it, even if you don't live in an English-speaking country. On the other side, if you live in an English-speaking country, but you, you don't practice the language, you don't submerge yourself in it, you don't speak with people, with native people that speak English, you won't be able to master it. And in reality, we see a lot of people who don't live in an English-speaking country, but they are fluent in the, the language. Myth number three, you have to know a lot of grammar to speak English fluently, and this is completely wrong. On the contrary, studying in grammar too much will slow down your speaking. A third and last part is about some secrets and steps you have to follow to speak English fluently. And number one, motivation. You have to memorize yourself why do you want to speak English fluently. Some people want to speak English fluently because they want to communicate with people from other countries. Some other people want to speak English fluently because they want better work. So you have to memorize yourself with the reason why you want to speak English, why you want to learn the language to keep up learning. Secret number two, listen a lot, listen daily. The more you listen, the more you learn. You know, in our learning the language as children, we start to pick up some words, phrases, and sentences from our parents, which we use later. And this is how we acquire the language. But first of all, we listen to short sentences, then we expound them to longer ones, and by time, our listening skills will improve. And secret number three, learn and study phrases, not words, because words alone don't work. For example, if you know the word jacket, and you want to ask about the price, without the phrase, you won't be able to ask. The phrase is, how much is the jacket? And we can use this phrase for many other things. For example, how much is the pen? How much is the, how much is the phone? So learning and studying phrases is the key. And secret number four, don't translate from your language to English if you want to express an idea, situation in your life, because they are two completely different languages. Every language has its own personality. So uh, translating from your own language to English is completely wrong and it will make many, many mistakes. And secret number five, practice and speak daily. The more you practice, the better you'll be. And there are many ways you can practice English, either by speaking to yourself in front of the mirror or uh, record yourself, uh, which by the way, some people find funny, but it works. Another way is to speak to a friend of yours or speaking to someone on the internet, on social media or English teaching sites, which is very easy nowadays. 
One short words. The, the more you practice English, the better your speaking skills will be. And secret number six, which is very important, by the way, speak confidently and don't be afraid of making mistakes because simply your task is to deliver a message, not to be perfect. At the beginning, you will definitely make some mistakes and you will learn from them until you reach the level you want in the language. Until that time, speak confidently, don't be in a hurry, and don't be afraid of making mistakes. And secret number seven, learn real English. If you want to learn real English, you will not learn from scientific books or magazines, for example. But on the other hand, you'd better learn from TV and movies because they have real life situations. They have real language that you can use daily. And this is why we have real conversations here. This is a channel which will include real life situations and will get you familiar with the language and speak it as the native speaker does. And secret number eight, learn whole English. Well, the meaning of learn whole English, you should learn the English skills together as a whole, just because the English skills are connected and overlap together. And this means you can't learn one English skill without learning the other. For example, you can't learn speaking without learning listening. And that's why we have a complete course in this channel that will include the English skills together. A course that will focus more on fun besides learning, a course that was professionally made to take you from your level to the best level you can reach in the language. And finally, thank you for watching my video. If you like it, please click the button like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you again for watching and see you soon in another video.